What's up everybody? Welcome back. Today's episode, I am making teriyaki chicken. Now, my teriyaki sauce is not only delicious, but it is gluten-free, paleo, and soy-free. And I think you're gonna love the flavors. I like to chase the flavors, guys, and I think this one fits the bill. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. All right, guys, so let's talk about our ingredients. Now, I'm using uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I like thighs the best. It's just my favorite piece of the part of the chicken, so that's what I'm using. You could use the breast if you wanted to. And then, as well as, you know, these came boneless and skinless, but then I trimmed them up even a little bit more because, I, you know, I try to minimize the fat on there. We'll also need our teriyaki sauce. Now, I made a previous video for this last week and you can get that recipe there. I'll leave a link for you, but I'm also gonna leave all the ingredients and instructions down below in this video. So then you just go down below, click where it says show more. A lot of people don't know this and you'll find the written recipe for that. We'll also need a little bit of olive oil and salt. So to get started with our recipe, you're gonna to wanna to go make your teriyaki sauce like we talked about, right? So you make that and once it's cool, you want it to be cool or cold before you add it to your chicken so that it's gonna marinate for about 20 minutes. Guys, to get started cooking our chicken teriyaki, I'm using a cast iron grill pan here. I love this thing, works great. And uh, we're gonna have our temperature at medium high heat. All right, guys, I got my pan pretty hot here over medium high heat. If you want to, you can brush a little bit of olive oil on the grate. And now we'll just start adding our chicken to the grill. I'm gonna make sure that grill's hot. All right, so here we go. This one's not quite ready to be turned over, so I'm just gonna flip it around. Now with these pieces, I'm gonna spread a little more of the teriyaki sauce on top, just cause I, I love the sauce. And then we'll continue cooking these until, of course, they're done. Now, of course, when you add this teriyaki sauce to the chicken, of course, it does make it, the sugars want to burn a little bit. So you got to watch your temperature. I turned it down just a little bit. So as the pieces get done, I've been checking them with the thermometer. I'm going to take them out. All right, guys, there you have it, my uh, teriyaki chicken. And I'm just gonna dig in and take a little piece right here. I really love these flavors, guys. You got a hint of sweetness, it's not super sweet, but you can definitely, you get that hint of it and the teriyaki flavor comes through. I think that sesame oil really adds to this recipe. So I hope you try it. You can serve it up with rice and vegetables. And that's what I'm gonna do right here. I'll take a piece here and I can slice it up. And then what I like to do also is add a little more sauce at the end. So this is what I am gonna be eating for dinner. But I tell you that sauce is really tasty. I think you're really gonna enjoy it. I love that sauce. If you enjoyed that video, I hope you'll share it and uh, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And also, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button up there and that way you, you won't miss a video. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.